In the dynamic realm of automotive engineering, Mazda's Skyactiv X engine emerges as a beacon of innovation, embodying the company's relentless pursuit of efficiency and performance. This groundbreaking technology, poised to redefine the capabilities of internal combustion engines, represents a synthesis of gasoline and diesel engine principles, promising diesel-like efficiencies with the refinement of a gasoline power plant. As we delve into the intricacies of the Skyactiv X, we unravel its journey from conception to commercialization. We will be navigating through the technological marvels and the formidable challenges that lie in its path. So let's start at the beginning. Where we are now with the Skyactiv X can be traced back to 2011, when Mazda set a new goal to bridge the gap between gasoline and diesel engine efficiency with their then all new Skyactiv engines. Amidst the landscape dominated by traditional auto cycle gasoline engines and compression ignition diesel engines, Mazda embarked on a quest to marry the best of both worlds. The result was the Spark Controlled Compression Ignition, or the SPCCI, a revolutionary approach that sought to harness the benefits of compression ignition while retaining the precision and control of spark ignition. So, what exactly is SPCCI and how does it work? Well, as with normal engines, it all starts on the intake stroke. You see, during the intake stroke, a precise amount of air and fuel is injected into the combustion chamber. This mixture is carefully controlled to achieve the perfect blend of air and fuel, ensuring uniform combustion and no fuel wastage. Then, as the piston comes back up for the compression stroke, the air fuel mixture is compressed to a high pressure and temperature. This compression increases the efficiency of the combustion process and helps to reduce fuel consumption. Just before reaching the top of the compression stroke, a spark plug ignites a small portion of the air fuel mixture near the spark plug. This raises the temperature and pressure so that the remaining fuel and air mix ignites under pressure, like in a diesel, burning faster and more completely than in a conventional engine, which in turn makes the engines more efficient. Now you might be wondering, how do they make sure that everything is perfect? Because for this technology to work, the mixtures, temps and pressures need to be perfect. Well, with the use of super smart hardware and software meticulously engineered to optimize combustion dynamics. In cylinder, pressure sensors, high pressure fuel injection systems and clutch superchargers work in harmony to achieve precise control over the combustion process. This intricate dance between hardware and software enables the Skyactiv X to seamlessly transition between spark and compression ignition modes, delivering superior efficiency and reduced emissions. One of the key innovations of the Skyactiv X is its ability to operate in lean burn mode, where the air fuel mixture is intentionally diluted to achieve optimal combustion efficiency by precisely controlling the, the combustion process. Master is able to extract maximum energy from every drop of fuel, resulting in impressive gains in both power, output and fuel efficiency. Now compared to conventional spark plug ignition engines, Skyactiv X boasts a significant improvement in fuel economy without compromising on performance. In fact, Mazda records that this design can lead to improvements in fuel economy of up to 30%, which isn't anything to scoff at. Now at the launch of the Skyactiv X, Mazda showed off their all new 2 liter engine that produced 183 horsepower and 177 pound feet of torque. And whilst the engine produced good power figures, it was really light on fuel with an average fuel consumption of 43.5 mpg or 18.2 kilometers on a liter. That's super light for a 2 liter and remember that's the average fuel consumption, not just the open road. Now I will say these motors run on crazy high compression ratios so they can't be cheap to make. I mean in the concept phase the motor ran compression ratios of 16.3 to 1 while the actual production motor runs on a compression ratio of 15 to 1. That's insanely high and you have to remember it runs with that high compression ratio on pump fuel which is really impressive. However the road to commercialization has not been without its challenges. One of the primary hurdles facing Mazda is the inherent complexity of the SPCCI technology. Implementing such sophisticated systems demands substantial investment in research, development and manufacturing, posing a formidable challenge for Mazda as a smaller automaker. Moreover, the prevailing industry trend towards electrification has diverted attention and resources away 
from further refinement and deployment of the Sky Active X engine technologies. Market dynamics and consumer preferences also present significant obstacles to widespread adoption of the Sky Active X. While the technology has been well received in markets where fuel economy is a primary concern, such as Europe and Japan, its appeal is somewhat muted in regions where consumers prioritize other factors, such as performance and brand loyalty. This divergence in consumer preferences underscores the need for Mazda to carefully tailor its marketing and product strategy to different regional markets. Despite these challenges though, Mazda remains undeterred in its commitment to advancing the internal combustion engine. Efforts to introduce larger displacement variants and integrate SPCCI into hybrid powertrains underscore Mazda's determination to push the boundaries of innovation. Moreover, the company's relentless focus on research and development ensures that the SkyActiveX continues to evolve and improve, laying the foundation for future breakthroughs in automotive engineering. To end it off, Mazda SkyActiveX engine represents a triumph of innovation and engineering prowess in the face of formidable challenges. Its revolutionary approach to combustion technology promises to redefine the future of the internal combustion engine, offering a compelling alternative to traditional gasoline and diesel power plants. And remember, they aren't just focused on the Sky Active motors. Production of the new rotary engines have started again, both as a range extender and as a power source in their new sports car. So I think some exciting things are coming from this automaker. So let's keep our eyes peeled and see what will come next. But at the end of the video, please let me know what you think of the Sky Active technology. Do you like the idea? Um, what do you think of Mazda as a brand? I'm going to be honest, I like Mazda and I really like their designs. The new Mazda 3 is a gorgeous car. Um, it's one of those cars where like, I don't know if I personally would buy it because there's a lot of cars for the price that I'd rather have. But every time I see one, I think, damn, that's a good looking car. Like they, they just look really nice. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys did like it, you'll most probably like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel. See if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.